Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries February 3, 2023. Conditions are favorable for connecting and producing with ease today. There's something to learn about yourself and your goals you're identifying priorities and getting around obstacles. You're also inclined to discover much about your capabilities now, and it's a great time for optimism. As you pay more attention to your mental and emotional health, you feel stronger in your career or experience more meaningfulness and purpose with your responsibilities. The moon continues its transit of your resources sector, but as the day advances, the moon in your communications house stirs your curiosity and pulls out a desire to chat and connect. Venus, your planetary ruler and the goddess of romance and attraction, is flipping her fins in the deep seas of Pisces. As she transits the zodiac sign of the fish, you will feel tremendous joy radiate within your heart, body, and soul. This is one of the most amazing places for our lesser benefic to reside, as she is known to be exalted in this zodiac sign and can deliver glorious blessings in her greatest abundance. During this time, we are more compassionate, sensitive, and romantic. Whether single or attached, you must look at love like a fairy tale. Do you like where you are at in your career path? You may need to reflect on your professional standing as the sun in Aquarius sextal's Chiron in Aries. The sextal could be a healing transit since it might be time to dive into what you want to explore or act on in your career without feeling insecure. If you feel ready to do so, it might be worthwhile to be vulnerable about your career path in conversation after the moon enters its domicile, Cancer. You may feel more open about your career thanks to the lunar energy. Before the moon leaves your income sector today, wrapping up its first visit since Mars turned direct here, it caps off what has already been an insightful few days across the income, work and career fronts with a friendly aspect to Saturn in your career sector. This has been a monthly event for much of the last three years, but with Saturn leaving next month is picking up on a new call from both the money and professional gods to get things moving. You're going to feel a burst of energy, not only today but throughout the next few months, and this will shape the way you meet your goals. One reason you sometimes seem to fail to accept this kind of dynamic energy is because it invariably involves change of some kind, and you are not famous for flexibility. Here's a hint for your future success. Drinking water increases flexibility. Can you feel it? Something new is about to begin. It may be that some aspect of your relationship with that special someone is about to take on a new direction. Or perhaps that long-standing business partnership is about to generate new prospects for you. Whatever opportunity comes knocking on your door, believe that you have what it takes to rise to the occasion and meet the expectations that are being set out for you. Enjoy this day and let its essence envelop you. Once again, it is all about the moon and today this is set to have a positive impact in two different aspects of your life. On the one hand, the moon's final hours in your income sector and its friendly aspect to Saturn in your career sector is creating a lot of positive energy and insight on both fronts. At a time when there is a growing need to pace yourself, knowing where the money is will help you work smarter. The moon's departure will see it return to your communication sector just as Venus, the planet of love is kicking off a positive few days for friendship and relationship building. The moon's return to your communication sector today might be an ordinary monthly event but the timing and the significance couldn't be more important. Coming full circle from last month's full moon this has a lot more oomph, with a chance to propel words forward and it comes just as Venus, the planet of love is moving into a friendly aspect to the south node in your relationship sector. Our eyes in the sky. Neptune shares a minor frustration with the nodes of destiny, giving us a chance to embrace our intuition and creativity. This process helps us implement our goals and desires. Our thoughts and heartfelt sentiments can now become tangible commodities as we use our talents to turn our dreams into reality. This could be an extraordinary day as a result. Just when we thought we were out of retrograde season we get pulled back in with Ceres moving backward in Libra on Friday, giving us one final case of the winter blues. 
For the next couple weeks, expect to confront some disharmony in all our most personal relationships as we try to balance, we, and me, without ruining everything we've built. Both mind and body are in perfect harmony, you feel fully fit. Don't overdo your exercise regime, what seems to be a logical amount of activity doesn't always correspond with your energy level. Too much strenuous exercise can lead to problems, so take control, be cautious and employ some firm discipline. Feeling full of energy, you're physically fit and mentally in great shape. Provide any excess pent-up energy with an outlet, by going jogging, perhaps with a group of friends. The best thing to do is simply listen to your body, discover what it is that makes it feel so good. This way you increase your health even more. Love could really hurt when Venus in Pisces squares Mars in Gemini on Saturday, so this also isn't a great time for relationships. Harsh words and petty fighting could really ruin your weekend. Avoid domineering people who need to have things their own way. You'll thank us later. Your positive attitude enables you to work well with others. Your own priorities are much clearer giving you a distinct advantage over the way you cooperate with colleagues who provide you with the necessary space you need for you to focus on your goals. If you don't get carried away, everything proceeds okay. We end the week on a dramatic note with the full moon in lively Leo on Sunday. The moon is on full display and so are our egos as we open our hearts to love, glamour, and some delicious drama to really heat up a cold night. In the pre-dawn hours, the moon trines Saturn in Aquarius, helping us to skill build. Saturn improves the focus of the ordinarily fidgety Gemini moon. With honed concentration, we can map out our day with confidence while still leaving wiggle room to explore curiosities that crop up in our periphery. We could be drawn to elders with experience who can guide us along our path. They have teachings to share, but we may have to ask for their assistance, as they might not think to offer it otherwise. Similarly, others may seek us out for the knowledge or skills that we regard as second nature. The moon then enters a void period lasting until afternoon, discouraging us from starting new projects. Late in the morning, the Aquarius sun sextiles Chiron in Aries, helping us to resolve ego wounds. This aspect works healing magic, absolving us of insecurities. However, we may not understand the full extent of this transit's potency until the moment has passed. With the Sun in eccentric Aquarius, we have an opportunity today to stand in our truth as our most original selves. Honoring what makes us unique comes naturally. We connect with others through niche interests, finding community as we let our authentic light shine. Subsequently, no grand events are required for us to grow. It is only later, when we discover a weight has been lifted from our hearts and minds, that we clock the medicine of the Sunshine Sextile.